Another group of diseases and health problems in which low-frequency magnetic therapy can be applied with positive results includes endoprosthesis, post-surgery conditions, fractures, carpal tunnel syndromes, and tennis elbow, i.e. post-surgery conditions of the joints, pseudoarthroses, as well as traumatic neural dissections, etc. Biomag low-frequency pulse magnetic therapy is one of few electrical rehabilitation methods that provides optimum physical features even if the body contains metal materials and replacements. These metal replacements, implants, stents and endoprostheses, are fixed in tissues and low frequency pulse magnetic therapy does not even lead to warming of these tissues or shifting of the replacements in tissues, which means it has all the features that allows its use for all types of replacements. Implants are mostly made of surgical metals and plastics, i.e. special steel alloys, non-magnetic materials, etc. In no case can magnetic therapy cause an undesirable reaction if such a material is implanted in the body. Therefore, virtually no contraindications exist in this respect. Magnetic therapy is mostly used in patients with a total endoprosthesis of the large joints, knee and hip, not only during preparation for surgery, and then as support in rehabilitation and recovery, but also after re-operations, as unfortunately, requests for revision endoprosthetics are on the increase with the increasing number of patients with endoprostheses i.e. repeat implantation, repeat joint replacements, etc. The aim of magnetic therapy is always to create better metabolic conditions in tissues, to improve the healing process, accelerate recovery, and restore joint mobility, maintain surrounding tissues in the best possible condition, and thus prevent prostheses and endoprostheses from coming loose. Use Biomag low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy to treat fractures and injuries to bones and cartilages as soon as possible after the injury and surgical treatment. Low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy has been demonstrated to accelerate the healing and regeneration of bones and soft tissues by non-specific irritation of the cell membrane. This leads to activation of the metabolic chain in which a change in the ratio of cyclic nucleotides and increased activation of osteoclasts for bone healing play a crucial role. Magnetic therapy markedly accelerates the healing process as it activates the formation of new tissue, the rapid building of bone tissue and calcification, and leads to increased sensitivity to the parathyroid hormone. It is therefore used to accelerate the healing of fractures, pseudoarthroses, non-unions, and to strengthen loose and painful prostheses and other problems. Pseudoarthroses, or non-unions, are a special group of damage which develops when fractured bones do not heal as expected. We call such a problem a non-union when the healing period twice exceeds the healing time typical for bone or such damage. Low frequency pulsed magnetic therapy combined with surgery can be one of few methods that can significantly modify these hard to influence and non-healing conditions support the renewal of bone tissue and the development of calluses, and can finally lead to the curing and liquidation of non-unions. Low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy increases levels of proteoglycans. According to Kvojka, cartilage activity increases by 22%, which naturally allows the healing and regeneration of cartilage. 
which is generally said to be very hard to influence as far as healing is concerned. Magnetic therapy can lead to such changes and therefore should be used. Magnetic therapy should be applied locally to the parts of the body in which the process is to be initiated. Long-term applications lasting for several hours are used. In carpal tunnel syndrome, the neurovascular bundle and tendons of the finger flexors are compressed in the narrowed wrist carpal channel. We are talking about carpal tunnel syndrome. While the actual carpal tunnel is a narrow passageway bordered by the wrist joint and the outer firm ligament band. If this area is compressed, the whole neurovascular bundle and particularly the nervous medianus are compressed which innervates the remaining part of the hand. These compressions lead to a whole range of clinical symptoms pain, inability to grip an object, swelling and increased sensitivity. These problems often call for surgery. If low frequency pulsed magnetic therapy is used in the initial stage of the problems it can reverse the process. In case of optimal conditions, it can even eliminate the need to undergo surgery. If the compression process is in an advanced stage and the carpal tunnel can no longer be cured by rehabilitation treatment and traditional conservative treatment only, magnetic therapy by improving the microcirculation can develop significantly better conditions for healing and reduces the risk of recurrence. Tennis elbow or radial epicondylitis develops due to excessive one-sided overexertion, particularly in athletes and hard-working individuals. It is a disease of the muscle and tendon entheses in the elbow joint, enthesopathy. Physiotherapy, magnetic therapy, etc. play a key role in conservative treatment. Inflammatory diseases of the tendons and ligaments tend to become chronic and recur in case of premature exertion of the seemingly cured limb. Recovery is very important in this case and magnetic therapy offers a wide range of applications for the whole range of syndromes. Disorders related to the peripheral nerves, trauma, compression, etc. are another group of problems for which magnetic therapy can be used as a treatment. Lacerations caused by a sharp object are the most common cause of partial or complete dissection of the nerves. Further nerve damage may, of course, result from contusion or compression caused by fractured bones, from blood clots, etc. In these cases, treatment is aimed at restoring the function of the damaged peripheral nerve. Early surgery, suturing of the dissected parts of the nerve or its elongation, etc., is crucial for the success of the treatment, followed by long-term targeted rehabilitation in which magnetic therapy can be widely applied and significantly accelerates the whole process of healing and function restoration. It has been found in both experiments and clinical studies that the effects of magnetic therapy accelerate the regeneration of the damaged nerve several times. Histologically, a significant difference has been found between a nerve that has been experimentally dissected and subjected to the application of low frequency pulse magnetic therapy and a nerve which magnetic therapy has not been applied to. Up to 20 times more nerve fibers were found at the damaged site treated by magnetic therapy. Healing of a peripheral nerve is always a long-term process Therefore, it is necessary to accelerate this process 
and support healing. And that is what low frequency impulsed magnetic therapy is ideal for. We apply programs with mainly vasodilatory and healing effects, which stimulate the actual healing and regeneration of the damaged tissue.